everyone, and it is a beautiful Thursday, May 20th, and here in the heart of Sonoma County. It is windy today, and so I Yes, it is. Yeah. It's thank a blustery you, day. You, I you. need to give you some affirmation That's on right, that. That's right. I was expecting some <laughs> kind keen of- Keen observation. Yes, yes. Oh, very good. Very good. Um, so sit- I'm Silver Shell. I'm Cindy Jenkins. And we are the, the Bling, Bling Sisters. Sisters. And you are watching the Bling Sisters Live, formerly Silver Shell's Bling Party, but we are the same fun women. And yes, yes, we are. And we interview people from all over the world in the entertainment industry. And so far, we've had 112 guests. And oh, I have to say, look in the upper left hand corner for the red light if it's on we're live and if you'd like to be notified when we go live there's a notification bell on the right side in different places so go ahead and like that if you'd like to be notified when we go live so we have had past our, our recent past guests have been Pamela Parker John Ozuna Henry Turner Jr. Annie Sampson uh, Frank Greenfield Nick Otis and tonight we have guest number 113, Bex Marshall. Bex Marshall, hey. yay. Thank you for joining us at such a late time. <laughs> late oh, it's not that late, really. Oh, I mean, yeah. you know, you are I'm musician. a bit of a night bird. I understand. So uh, this is an interactive live a chat show. So if there are any questions you have for Bex, go ahead and write them. And we'll do our best to get them answered. So, uh, let me, let me, Bex Marshall is uh, from the UK, and she is past guest number 43 and current guest number 113. She was on May 24th last year, and on her Facebook page, she describes herself as a solo acoustic artist. <laughs> Bex, you are so much more than that. Not only <laughs> is she the UK British Blues Award winner, she is a four-time European Blues Awards nominee. Uh, she's a fabulous blues singer, songwriter, and also she's a croupier, busker, and a pilgrim. Besides a all pilgrim. that, a, a pilgrim, a pilgrim. <laughs> Not many modern-day pilgrims. Is that what you called yourself in our our yes, a pilgrim? A pilgrim. Well, I am from Plymouth. Uh -huh. And uh, that's where the pilgrims left the Mayflower Steps to sail to America. All right. And so you're true. <laughs> so I'm a true pilgrim. <laughs> you are. Would that be on your mom or your dad's side? Well, it's a Plym um, being just born in Plymouth sort of qualifies me. Oh, um, cool. But yeah, um, the pilgrim fathers, you know, but um no, my, my, you know, my, my mother's side are, are gypsies, tramps, and thieves, and my right. father's side are landed gentry, um, <laughs> direct lineage to, um, li you know, William the Conqueror and um, the Plantagenets. <laughs> Holy cow. So there's a bit of a mix, a bit of a mishmash. And it comes out in you, and you're a beautiful it, it mishmash. It does. Yes, yes, blue singer. And uh, I wanted to ask you, um, how is your house of mercy going it's full it's full of, of mercy right now um it's very good you know we've we've, we've weathered the uh, the worst of the, of the last year yes and um you know it's um it's you know this music happening um you know recording happening and um you know we're, we're keeping the wolves from the door as it were and um you know we've got I've got a lot of things ha going to be happening this summer here. Um, I kind of foresaw that this was this period would be, you know, very sort of low key. Yes. And so we're, you know, we're planning uh, some small events, which you know is in keeping with our rules and regulations over here. Right. Um, and which is, you know, which is actually quite preferable at the moment. A lot of people are just kind of like, um, you know, enjoying the the, the smaller sort of things um and so we've got our little dodgy fox bar which we, we've built which uh you know we we have our weekend uh, events in uh -huh. and um we have house of mercy chef jonathan who's uh you know he's cooking up his fine dining delights 
And nice. so we've got, you know, the, the phone is ringing off the hook, as it were. Are you, doing, right. are you doing a small, fine dining experience? Yes. So we're doing a small, fine dining and, um, you know, um, little sessions here, little supper club. We've got a grand piano in the, in the lounge. So we've got a jazz lounge now. Nice. Um, and so, you know, it's, it's small and bijou, but it's, um, it's bespoke, bespoke partying. Okay. All you know? right. So it's individual for individuals and um, yeah, do you, um, you can, yeah. Yeah. So you can come up here with like six of you, six, seven of you and have a great night uh, of entertainment, food, bar, you know. Uh -huh. Well, I have a bit of, of a tidbit from the audience. A tidbit. A tidbit. Oh. When we interviewed, I don't know if you're familiar with Troy Redfern. Oh yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. He's in the audience now saying, Hey guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We turned him on to you, I believe. And oh, here he I is. Yeah. Hey, Troy. Yeah. Yeah, Troy. Troy. He, yeah. Isn't he fantastic? I don't I know whether, where we've met, if we've met somewhere, or maybe I wrote to him once. Did I write you an email, Troy? I can't remember. Maybe. You, you, I'd, it's, we've connected on some level. Maybe right. I sent you a healing. Uh, I maybe. Wanna, Crowbar says hi. Oh, I love him. Hey. Shalimar's here. Kirby. Hi, Kirby. And Shalimar. Let me see. You know, I'm getting all homesick now for my little shed in the garden. Well, yeah. you should come. You should come down <laughs> September 6th. We're going to have an artista party, and you are invited if you'd like. Oh to, if they God, I'd love to. Wouldn't that be um, I would love to. And you know what? Um, you know, I, I I kind of sort of wrote this year off just because it's. You know, it's like one yeah. of these things where at the moment travel is just so ridiculous and unforeseen things. And um, and I I thought, well, nothing's going to happen till next year. And then things have started sort of coming in, sort of, you know, drip feeding in for September, October. And I'm thinking, oh, God, is it too much to, um, to, to confirm and sort of like make plans? But you know what? If I if I can get there, I'll be there. That's my motto. All right. Well, we would. We'll love, be waiting with would bells love on to have you here. Yes. Yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm, what date is it? Uh, the sixth, isn't it? Sixth of September. Is the sixth of September. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Pretty well, it's, sure. possible. it's quite possible. Oh. Everything's possible. Okay. He has just asked that you put next year on your calendar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. and, play, and play and play dance. for the party and play you want i you to promise play. i promise i'll All be right. there with bells on oh, okay that would cool. be so much fun so i have to ask you <laughs> how how's this covid situation has it made you a lot more technically savvy um uh, uh, slightly yeah slightly i mean i you know um I, you, we've got, you know, you have to learn, you have to, you have to sort of, um, you know, learn a, a load of, load of new tricks to sort of survive this, this period right. of time. So, right. um, yeah, I, I, I've definitely, um, you know, become, uh, a lot more savvy. I mean, you know, it's all about time, isn't it? And you have to multitask as an artist these days anyway. Yes. Um, so, you know, getting, and of course, you know, the studio here and trying to get on top of recording elements and, and computers and all the tech stuff. Uh, it's not my favorite thing to do, but I do enjoy the creative process. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm totally into sort of video, making videos at the moment. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So I've got my GoPro and, and all this. And so I'm enjoying the editing thing. Um, and, you know, the live, the live performances, I've done a few. And, you know, they've, they've, it's, been, it's been great because we need to perform um but i i really can't wait to, to you know smell the, the you know the sweat in the air sort of thing um and get down and dirty and, and and do it for real um so it's great i've got my first show next week actually you do on the 25th that's good. at tam t-a-m yes yes that's um it's a brand new uh, club that's opened up in london uh, at the Ele elephant castle and uh, it's great. It's um, it's a wonderful place, a theater of art and music. And, um, you know, I, I, the Blue Shakers of the House Band there, we're doing a show. We're also going on tour next year to Vietnam and Dubai oh, nice. um, in, in March. So um, that's going to be something. That's my, my, you know, that was my next sort of um, target, really. Okay. Um, but 
yeah, um, that's going to be great. With Dana Gillespie, the wonderful, legendary, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, diva Dana, who was David Bowie's uh, uh, significant other at some point oh. in, in the wonderful history of her life. Um, and she's amazing. She's, she's a, a living legend and um, a wonderful blues singer. And um, yeah, so it's going to be great fun going on the road with her and Ian Siegel. Yeah. So how do you think, uh, 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 do you think these some of these changes that have happened with technology and like you say, video and stuff are going to be permanent? Do you think COVID has permanently changed for the better or worse uh, part of the music scene? Um, no, because I think there will it will open back up and it will eventually get back to performance and and that kind of thing. Um, so I think everything that has been learnt and adapted is is all good, you know. I mean, obviously, sadly, the the venues that have had that shut that you know um, is the downfall and and being the victim in all this um, in regards yes. to live music venues and stuff and of course you know a lot of people's situations have changed um so it's you know sadly a bit of a survival of it's just a survival of, of, of whoever's got through it really right. um but i think people have adapted and looked at what other things that they they you know are capable of um and it really has shaken up um shaken up the you know the, the people that are still doing it uh, are doing it on a on a on a better level, I think. You know, because they're covering more aspects. Uh -huh. um, but I think you know, people, it, it will all come back to it to, to to where it needs to be, and you know, that's that's what you we've got to hope for. Do you think it's brought musicians closer together in a way, also? Uh, yeah, um, well, these kind of things always do, don't they? Yes. I mean, um, you know, we're all kind of, we, we sit around wondering what's going to happen next. And then, uh, you know, a body of people get together and we're campaigning for this and, and, and trying to be heard, you know, um, in regard, I mean, especially in the UK right now with the Brexit on top yes. of all this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we're kind of going, hey, you know, what the hell? And um, so, but I think, you know, eventually it'll all, it'll all, you know, when, when it all falls back down. Um, I, don't, I don't worry about these things, to be fair. Right. I just think, you know, I'll do it. I'll do it if I have to do it here over the internet or in my in my dodgy thoughts I've created. Right. But, do know. what needs to be done. Um, we will do it. Well, I need yeah, to interrupt you ladies happens. right now okay. because we have a video and it's time oh, for yeah. a video. It's okay. our, yes. Time and for already. This is marvelous. This is titled, and I neglected to get the title of this from you. Bex Marshall returns to play live uh, March 21st. So it was spring. It was the first day of spring 2021. Do you want to oh, tell, okay, yeah, okay. tell us about that one? Was that the, um, that was the frog one? I feel bad because my, my brain's, uh, well, let's just watch it, and then we'll it all was the, know. I say it's the frog one. No, no, no. The, the, the company was called... God, oh, look at me. Let's go. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it was good fun. It was here in the snake pit. So, oh, yeah. perfect. I think that was perfect. one of my first gigs. Okay, here we year. go. All right. He played a black guitar He sang about the blues And every night he thinks about The way it was before But now it'll always be Just him and his guitar I 
when you were lonely, man. Found his love again. After cutting loose some juice, she helped but left their own. Every night she thinks about And we're back, Ed. You are. We are back. You are watching the Bling Sisters live. I'm Silver Shells. I'm Cindy Jenkins. And we are the, the Bling, Bling Sisters. Sisters. And we interview people from all over the world in the music entertainment industry: actors, singers, songwriters, musicians, blues award winners. Yes, and, and we <laughs> also. Also, every show. Every show. We spotlight one local musician. And who do we have this week? We have Max Vogel. Yay, Max! And I ran across him, and I heard his voice. It's really country, Very but nice. it's really nice. So uh, I, I think we all know I'm not a big country person, but every once in a while you hear a voice, and it makes you think. You it know? does. So it does. So welcome. Uh, we are going to run Max Vogel's Two Minute Local Spotlight with his original song. Oh, Here we go. Hey Bling Sisters, how's it going? My name is Max Vogel. I'm a musician here in Healdsburg, California. Uh, been playing music for as long as I can remember. It's one of the, the three loves of my life, other than my wife and daughter. And uh, yeah, so here's a song coming up that I wrote. Um, I hope you enjoy it. If you enjoy it a lot, uh, reach out to me on Instagram or shoot me an email. And uh, I play my private events, I play public events, and bars, wineries, Pretty much whatever needs music, I'm, I'm more than happy to play. So uh, hit me up. Hope you guys enjoy. Cheers. You're sitting there alone with that glass of wine. Just know all that I know that is wrong. Girls dancing in the arms of their men. Just know that is where you belong. Those guys ain't singing you this song These words will dance with you all night long If I wasn't up here singing you this song I'd dance with you all night long You're 
It's another night Surrounded by our friends And I can see that you're having lots of fun But then the dance comes on He takes her hand And now you're left dancing on your own Back. And we are back and I want to to say a special shout out to my granddaughter Sabrina. I love you, sweetheart, and the baby. Oh, I'm a great grandma. I and we want to take feedback. How do we sound? Are we loud yes, enough? Yes, we don't want to be. I too think low. we got reports that we were a little low in the volume low. department. How low can we go? Okay, so that's out there. Now you may carry on, young miss. I am going to carry on. And I'm going to ask you an important question. Uh, what music backs are you currently listening to? That is a good question. Uh, what am I currently listening to? Um, well, <laughs> if you could see the amount of CDs on the on the uh, on the on the the wall in there. I've got quite a few to choose from in here. Okay. Uh, this used to this used to be the um, the radio um, station um, for House of Mercy TV. Uh huh. Um, uh -huh. And so um, I'm slowly, slowly working my way through the collection. Um, and one of my, I suppose, recent discoveries is a chap called um, Israel Nash Gripka. Okay. And if you haven't heard of him, he is just amazing. Um, if you like Neil Young, uh -huh. you're going to uh -huh. love this guy. Okay. He's, he, yeah, I, I'm a bit of a fan. Um, nice. So, yes, Wonderful. that would be my, my, my new um, turn on guy um, to, to, to put you on to. Um, but oh, there's so much wonderful stuff out there, and yeah. Any brand it's new artists that really you think, besides Israel, that that I, are, are there any mainstream that you go, wow, this person's fantastic, or is it, yeah, you know? Um. Oh no. Yes. Um. Oh, mainstream. Um. The I, you know I, I That's okay. Yeah, it's That's one okay. of those. It's one of those moments where. It probably is, and you know, um, I, I mean, I listen to the radio every day, yeah, and, um, yeah, but you know what? Sometimes you just you think, yeah, that was pretty good, but you know, I, I names these days, I'm just there's so there's so many new artists out there, and, <laughs> I, I know, I know, that's why it's hard, I, to you know, what it's, it's like I get I get into an artist when I've seen them play live, uh huh, and so when I go on tour and I, I meet artists that I'm on the same bill with. They give me a CD and then I listen to the CD on the road. Yes, that's when I that's when I discover okay. new artists. Okay. Yeah. And then actually, you know that that guy, what's his name? The um, so I can't even remember his name. The big guy. He's got an amazing voice. The big guy. Um, with I'll, the I'll amazing think of it in a minute. Voice. Okay. Is he Hi, new? Dana um, Fisher. Oh my we gosh. see you, oh, Joelle nice. and Joelle. Thanks, Joelle. Yeah. Richard. Hi, Iki. Got people Spiel. watching. Yeah. Are watching. Cool, cool, cool. Questions, anybody? If you have a question for Bex, go ahead and type it in the comment Ooh. section. Questions for Bex, Shelley? Yes. Do you have any questions for Bex? I do. I would like to know if you and your mom still. Oh no, that was my other one. Yeah, I just asked Tell the wrong just question. Just ask okay. the question. <laughs> <laughs> just right. ask the question. Do you and your mom still watch your shows together online? Um, <laughs> well, we, I actually visited her in person oh, good. Uh, just a few weeks ago. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, um, we did, we did a lot of, uh, we had a proper night in, out, out, in. We, we, uh, we did, we had a mass, uh, an incredible meal. We had, we had champagne. We danced around the kitchen. We jived. We cried. We laughed. We got drunk and um, yeah, we had a lovely girls' night. It was wonderful. How long it had been before you'd seen your mom in person? Oh God, over a year. Yeah, yeah. I'd yeah. Good, good. Well, Troy well, we Redfern. We still talk every day, but you know. 
Yeah, yeah. Troy Redfern would like to know what your favorite slide is. <laughs> slide? Oh, slide. Your guitar. Like a slide guitar. <laughs> <laughs> your favorite slide. <laughs> well, I like the, the water slide part. and Waterloo. Yeah, I was thinking <laughs> that then. I thought, oh. Um, all right. Well, I use a little Dunlop um, 212. It's a mini brass slide. And um, I use it on my pinky and I fill it with hot wax. And then I put my finger in the hot wax and it burns like hell. Yeah. And I have to put it in and then wait for it to, to, to sort of set around my little finger. And then, um, and then it's because wax is an incredible, like a adhesive, but it's not sticky. Okay. So when you stick your finger into this wax, mold which is like an absolute perfect fit of your finger it sticks and you can have a lot more ability uh, to use these fingers okay. and still use the little finger you're not trying slide to hold it on, uh, right? yeah. no because i can actually shake it like that and it doesn't come right. off well so i need to talk with dunlop about getting that painted actually you know they could sell little pieces of wax with their slides that's marshals excellent idea well, well, well no, you know then then you've got a custom made slide basically i uh -huh. mean every so often you know you need to and you have to use church wax you know it's it's because you know you have to have it blessed no i'm only joking it's um, <laughs> because if you use, beeswax. <laughs> if, if, beeswax, if, right? if you use yeah. the stuff that's got perfume in it it just crumbles so um, roberta houston fiore wants to know who your influences were growing up Oh, well, you know, I had a lot. I mean, when I was nine, I got the sort of uh, the bug, the, you know, the music bug when I went into my one of my uncle's bedroom. We had a huge house, uh, my grandfather's house that we all lived in. And my these 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 kind of, you know, bachelor uncles that were always out. And, you know, one, one of them went used to go and play snooker. But he had this fantastic album collection. And uh, I said, look, can I listen to your albums when you go? And he said, yes, but he had, you know, I had to wipe them and all this and really take care of them. And so I used to just dance around his room listening to these albums uh, every time he went out. So it was almost like um, a degree in music, but I didn't know it at the time. Um, so it was, you know, I didn't have a choice in the matter. I just, you know, I was just listening and I was just hungry to to hear all these great right. albums. And it luckily it was a great, collection and um, so you know there was things from it, it was a lot of english uh, blues rock to a lot of uh, americana um so so english blues it was like the, you know eric clapton to um you know rod stewart um the who all those kind of rock bands and then you know the eagles and, right um, right so it was great elton john and it was like great songwriting great blues great um Americana and so it was a good cross section to get me started and yeah Oki Brooks and all that kind of thing um and so that was you know obviously that was all that I had to, to to sort of like um draw from at the time and before obviously the internet and stuff and and you know I've been able to go out and pick what I wanted to hear so um yeah I I and, I, and then trying to find my voice at like right. 12 13 right. I kind yeah. of I was, I, you know, I kind of, I would, I'd sing and I'd think, oh, was that okay? And then I, I, I was in a band by the time I was 14. Yeah, yeah. Singing rock, blues, you know. Um, and, but I had this vibrato, you know, and I didn't, I didn't know what to do with it. And it was just like, and I was like, people would go, oh God, you sound like Dolly Parton. And I go, oh my God. <laughs> yeah. And I, yeah. at the time, That's a compliment. You know, I was thinking, I can't, you know, get rid of this thing. I've got to sort of figure out how to get rid of it. Um, but anyway, you know, and then, of course, as things went on and I got influences and, and Tina Turner and yeah. I was like in my teens, I was getting into the, the female singing singers and stuff. And and then somebody said, you sound like Janice Joplin one day. And I was like, well, well who's that? I mean, I didn't have the, the music to, to draw right, from. Right. And then of course, you know, I got I got very heavily into Americana right. on through my teens, as well as rock as well. So that was the 80s. So there was a lot of that going on. Um uh, anyway, so you know, I'm still uh, getting turned on to, to music and finding, you know, um 
influences in in that sort of thing um you know and credence and, and things yeah. like that um and the classic tracks i mean you know you, it's, it's just a never-ending pool of of information and and wonder month i mean you know this studio here i could if if there was another three-year lockdown i still wouldn't get through all the music in here right you right. know and that's and, I, and it's the biggest gift um i could ever imagine to to have to to own you know to, to be um able to sort of draw on this collection is just quite something and i do want to start a little you know maybe like an online radio thing yeah um, at some point because it's such a shame to have it here and not to be sharing it right 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 yeah you could be the online dj oh, that would yes. be fun that yeah. would be fun you could play along with it well i did a radio show years ago actually um at the big l radio london in frinton and uh, that was the um, you know, Radio London. It was the original radio station. I was the night jock. I was the, the rock chick. Really? Okay. Ten to four. I, I, had the, I had the graveyard shift. But I won a, I actually won a poll for uh, Sexiest Voice competition. Oh, I bet. You do uh, have a I good beat, voice. I beat, I, beat, I beat Annie Mack from Radio 1. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to use my Mac, sexy voice wrong. on you, Bex, and ask you about Bourbon Street. Bourbon Street. Yeah, I love Bourbon Street. I always get my jeans down there. No, um, Bourbon Street, the song, the song, right, the Bex video. Yeah, yeah, I know, oh. but written <laughs> by the original Bourbon Street. Who was it written by? You? Me. Oh. It says by Bex Marshall <laughs> no, oh, right there okay, in big yeah. letters. Big, big, okay. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and roll this video now. Um, are we all ready? I'm so, ready. Are you ready, Bex? Always. 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 I knew ready. it. Okay, here we go. Like a swamp. <laughs> Oh! 
Sisters Live. I'm Silver Shells. I'm Cindy Jenkins. And we are the, the Bling, Bling Sisters, Sisters Live. Live from That's Sonoma. Right. From We're Sonoma County, not from Sonoma. Well, for Sonoma County. Because yeah. Sonoma is a little ways from here if you're talking about town. It does. Okay, yeah. That's it does correct. matter. It does matter. Because <laughs> we are in the county of Sonoma. We are. We are, and we're interviewing guest number 113 plus guest. She was also guest number 43, Bex Marshall from the UK. <laughs> I got to introduce everybody again. My sister came back, came on one time, and she goes, who are you talking to? How come you're not introducing them? So now I'm trying <laughs> to make sure everybody knows who we're talking to, lovely Bex Marshall. And so... Uh, we are getting towards the end, but Bex, what do you have? What does your future look like? <laughs> yeah, even in the even in the near three months, maybe. I know you have two um, things coming up. Well, I'd like to think it, it was a healthy one for a start. I've been I've been trying to keep you know keep on top of the health, keeping uh, certainly like regularly, you know, exercising just recently and watching my diet and stuff. Because I think everybody's just, you know, got completely uh, indulge, indulging in, in sort of, you know, catch potato. Yep. So um, I want to get back to being sort of match fit and ready to tour. Uh -huh. Get on that bike, um, girl. So that's, that's the health. I've got to tick that box um, and, and be ready and, and get ready for back, getting back on stages and stuff. Um, I, um, you know, I'm hoping to revisit... And, um, you know my 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 favorite places around the world in yeah. the next few years. I mean, I, I, I'm hoping to get back out to Cyprus um, where we do our writing retreat, right. and uh, it would be bloody marvelous if we could uh, get out there before the end of the year. We'll be I'm there. Really... Where? How are we going to get there, Bex? Or Brazil? Yeah, be sure and send us instructions on how to get there after the show. You know what? It's New York to Larnaca uh, as a direct flight. Oh, I, I have already okay. um, sussed that one. It sounds glorious. <laughs> Um, yeah, um, and, and, and possibility to go uh, back to Brazil in September, as I said. But, um, you know, as I say, um, 
I really am concentrating on spending time with family um, and back to basics yeah. and, and keeping it real. I mean, yeah. you know, if it wasn't for the, the limited amount of space here at the House of Mercy, I'd have chickens right now. You know, I'd be like laying eggs and know, hanging out. I'd be going, I'd be, I'd be, you know, I'm growing a lot of um, herbs and stuff and plants and I, I'm enjoying all that sort of thing. Uh, I'm enjoying getting back to basics. I spent so many years on the road. Right. In right. the last sort of ten years, I'm enjoying enjoying it really. You know, I'm enjoying being part of the community, even though, um, you know, it's not so active right now. Right. But it's it's good to be back home for a while. It is. So the COVID has so, yeah. given you know forced everybody into some downtime, and I think after yeah. the initial shock, you know, start, yeah, I know I've been working mm-hmm. on stuff, and you know what I forgot? What did you forget? I forgot to tease the audience. To tease the audience. I was going to tease the but audience. But you know what? You're doing it right now. I am. She's teasing I it am you teasing right now. the audience. There is something at the very end of this broadcast for all of you that you probably might not have expected. Maybe. <gasps> maybe they would know, have. Maybe they would. I'd maybe they would. I she is sitting in a studio after all. After all. With a, a guitar slung around her neck. Yes, after she is. All. She has a guitar in her lap and her hands. And uh, she is going to play a song for us at the outgoing of our show today. So this is unusual, yeah, because usually we do a video and then say goodbye. Yeah. And, and uh, this is going to be wonderful. I'm is. excited. Thanks. Oh, Bex, thank you so much for coming back on the show. Uh, well, thank you for having me. It's been an absolute pleasure being back with you girls. And, thank you. Uh, playing all day long. I'm, lo- I'm loving right. your outfits, thank by the way. You. I know you. You purposely doled yourselves up as, um, you know, uh, in my honor, which I'm, I'm uh, absolutely honored. Yes, um, I love you. you know, and I love, I love the the red satin and the black lace, and you know the low cut and all this, you know, and um, and I'm it's wearing my that's right gold gold velvet. Oh, I love. Ooh, I love that. We're all in velvet. <laughs> See, my that's fantastic. This is, this is blue it's, it's, velvet. She wore. Blue. You know what? I met Robert Plant once, and he was dressed to head to toe in velvet. Oh my gosh! And, but so was I. <gasps> I, I I bet, I bet, you bet you what a better. moment! <laughs> it was a great moment. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Wonderful. Well, that's so, what are you going to sing for us as we go out, sing Bex? And play. Okay, right. Well, this this is still sort of a work in progress, so just bear with me on it. Um, it's my lockdown song. Uh, it's um. As I was saying, you know, I, I really, I got a, uh, you know, I got a Jones to write uh, a musical, a big rock opera sort of thing um, about the lockdown, maybe. Uh, I don't know. This is this is one of the songs that could definitely have a big production, um, you know, uh, you know, in my wildest dreams. So you never know. If, uh, there's some big, uh, you know, what's his name? Um, the, the guy, the, the Phantom of the Opera guy. Oh. I know who you're oh, talking yes. about, and I can't think of his name. The funny looking guy. Um, I know, yeah. I'm not good at names of this time. I should know that. Anyway, this is called, this is actually called Crazy Dream, but the working title is Victory Hotel. At the Victory Hotel, Margarita, she might need it. She must show the hell. I remember the closing bell, serving it up on a half shell. And all the details after this, now I'm that kiss and tell. And then I lost my phone, my wallet, and my keys. I woke up on my own, and I can't remember. Oh, my baby. Yeah. 
It's all, a cra- is it all a crazy dream. It's all a we'll crazy wake up one dream. Day, maybe. It's all a crazy dream. Crazy, crazy. <laughs> all right, guys. We love you all. Tune in next Thursday night at 6 p.m. 6 p.m. We'll be here we with. We'll be here. With. 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 It's a surprise. It's a surprise. I will let you know because <laughs> I can't remember. Bex, I love you. Mm-hmm. Thanks so oh, much. I love Bye, you too, everybody. Girls. Okay, Take we're care. actually, I Take lied. We're going to go out with this one minute right. video, Bex. Okay. Oh, yeah, me in Brazil. That was beautiful. Yeah, Brazil. yeah. All it's a beautiful right. video. All right. Let's do it. Okay, Love you. bye, everybody. Okay. See Love you, you soon. I'll test the rules. Woo-hoo. Okay. Woo-hoo. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey. <laughs>